بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمد ونصلي على رسوله الكريم ما بعد ويذر فيه مسمى copulence obesity gluttony will be the order of the day people will not concern themselves whether they eat in healthy nutritious wholesome halal food but rather will strive to consume toxin poison harmful things that will cause them cause the degeneration in the ummah the mashaykh of the past were very particular about the eating forget halal and wholesome but they needed to tame and regulate the nafs it is said about malik bin dinar rahmatullah alayhi for 40 years he desired to have milk because he loved milk falam yaakulhu but he abstained from it to kill his nafs Abu Sulaiman al-Darani rahmatullahi one day was desirous for some bread with salt fajitu bihi ilayhi so i brought it to him he took a bite thumma tarahahu then he put it one side wa akbala yabki and he started crying and he fell in tears and he said that my desires have overcome me and i need to make tauba fama raaituhu i never seen him see this food ever again i never see him consume this food ever again so they kill their nafs we feed our nafs it is said about malik ibn dayram once he was in a marketplace and he seen he looked towards the green the grocer and his nafs told him law at'amtani al-layl min hadha he desired to have that so sometimes we see something and we desire us fa aqsamtu billah la ud'imha iya 40 sana so he told his nafs never in the next 40 years i'm gonna consume you you are trying to overcome me malik bin dinar rahmatullahi once to the people of basra ishtu fikum 50 sana i lived among you for 40 50 years talaqtu ad-dunya mundu 50 sana i have given talaq the dunya for 50 years ishtahat nafsi mundu 40 sana ta'aman for 40 years my stomach my desire my khayish was to have good food but i gave talaq to dunya for allah la at'amtuha hatta alhaqu billahi azza wa jal i am not going to concede to this nafs and give in it is said about qasim al ju'i was given this nickname because he used to stay hungry quite often qasim bin uthman al damishqi so somebody asked him about zuhud what is abstinence So he said what have you said so i gave some reasons then he kept silence then i asked him after keeping quiet i asked him what do you have to say so he said i'lam anna al-batna dunya al-'abd the stomach is the dunya of the abd the servant fa bi qadri ma yamliku min batnihi yamliku min az-zuhd how much you can control your desire of consuming food وَبِقَدْرِ مَا يَمْلِكُ بَطْنُهُ تَمْلِكُهُ الدُّنْيَا and how much you control your stomach and eat habits do you control dunya so how much you feed your stomach does dunya control you and how much you abstain from that do you control dunya so we have to be very particular about what we eat and that will have a direct impact on our body and our ibadat We don't need to go into deeper things but simple things also. So Imam Ghazali rahmatullahi is going into detail of people you stay hungry for 3 days to 5 days to 7 days to 40 days just surviving on dates and water and some of them only water then 2 or 3 days but he said ideally one meal a day was the habit of the salafis salihin and the best time to eat was at the time of sahri because then a person fasts at night his stomach is empty so he can make tahajjud 
and his body be used to a system. So before Fajr, after Tahajjud, would be the ideal time to eat that one meal a day. He said this was the habit of the people of the past. Yahya ibn Mu'aj would say, Ya ma'ashar siddiqeen, O oh, truthful people, jawwi'u anfusakum li walimatil firdaus. That manage your eating habits well, sometimes starve yourself. فَإِنَّ شَهْوَةُ الطَّعَامُ عَلَىٰ قَدْرِ تَجْوِئِ النَّفْسِ how much you control your eating habits? Do you control your nafs? Do you control your nafs? So it's a regulator, it's a means to get in this nafs under control. And simple ingredients today has become toxic. Look at table salt. So table salt, the normal salt is a chemical. It is not sodium. It is man-made. It's not an element that is natural, that digests properly, nor is it nutritious. Yes, your body needs sodium, but that's something else. The commercial salt that we find has over 30 synthetic chemicals. Then salt is bleach. Then salt has high toxic levels, which increases blood pressure, fluid retention. It causes uh, difficulties in the liver, kidneys, obesity, swelling, liver problems, hypertension, heart disease, muscle cramps, stroke, heart failure, and nervous disorders. So in the process of uh, making salt, they have to heat it up to 1200 degrees Fahrenheit, which destroys a lot of the trace minerals which are beneficial. And then it is not added in besides iodine. And another issue is that uh, table salt would normally clump together. So anti-caking agents are added. So it all called, con contains fluoride, MSGs, bleaching compounds to make it white, and uh, dangerous preservatives like aluminium hydroxide. And uh, aluminium, as we know, is known to cause brain damage, Alzheimer's disease. So they are all ton alternatives, Himalayan salt, etc, uh, etc. Et then another thing like margarine. Margarine has uh, other hydrogenated oils which we discussed earlier, trans fatty acids, causing heart disease, chronic illness, and uh, it doesn't have any good fats in it, that has been removed. Then it has trans fat which is damaging. Does it has no, literally, a, a lack of complete vitamins in it. And uh, complex process, like normal butter, simple, you get the milk and then you process the butter. But uh, yeah, the process is very complicated and complex. And vegetable oils, uh, which they then treat with other sulfons like hexen, and that is used in bleaches. And they use it to remove the bad flavor, color, and smell in the byproduct when it is processed. So normally it's natural gray. Now they have to add coloring, the yellow coloring, which is also harmful. Then preservatives are added, uh, like BHT. BHT is very unsafe, and in studies it shows it uh, promoted cancer. And uh, tests have shown that it's very toxic. Then uh, it has plant sterols, which reduce the antioxidants in the body, which can cause defects, uh, increase cholesterol, and uh, people can have endocrine issues, infertility. Then another deceptive marketing product is low fat or fat free products. Now, Fat itself, there's nothing wrong with it. People think so there's a harm in fat. But to compensate for that now in this product, you need to add more sugar, more preservatives. And fat, generally the body needs a certain amount of fat, which benefits the skin, it benefits the body. It uh, has vitamins A, C, E, K. It produces endorphins. So we need that in the body. Now we're removing all those constituents which are beneficial for the body. Then if you look at the microwave oven, so it is unnatural to warm food 
at such a high acceleration rate and to have it prepared and ready. Besides warming it, it's also cooking the food. So, when a person puts food, especially if it's wrapped in plastic, then that causes carcinogens. So, Russian, German, European studies have shown and have warned the hazards of microwavable food which especially where the containers are plastic, which has BPA, PETs, benzene, toluene, xylene. So these plastic containers are dangerous. In a Swiss study, they found that people that use the microwave, it changes the blood. So they did a study and they found that people who consumed food that was in the microwave the red blood cells, RBCs, decreased, while white blood cells increased, along with cholesterol. And the non-ionizing radiation of the microwave actually changes the blood and the heart rate. Then we've got the electromagnetic frequencies, which causes biological damage. Uh, a professor... Mauritius, who did a study, who had his PhD, compiled a list of 123 studies and the thermal effects of microwave, which causes free radicals, and that is harmful. And then the molecular structure in the food. Another product which is quite common is non-stick pins. So we find that it has PFAS, which is used in non-stick services, then you have fluorinated chemicals, you have fluorine atoms, and these are put in those pans. So non-stick cookware forms PFOA, which is an acid, and this chemical has been linked to health problems like thyroid disease, organ damage, infertility, and many, many a host of other sicknesses. So the Agency for Toxic Substances and Disease, their statement is that the most common PFOA and PFOS in the body, thus when we consume in using non-stick pens, which is induced in the body, it takes four years for the level to decrease in the body by half. So we rather steam, roast, grill, use the normal natural methods, Thus, is completely unnatural. And another thing is common is air fresheners. So the air can uh, be freshened, we want it to smell nice, the aroma, but it contains phthalates, which is a dangerous chemical causing hormonal abnormalities, birth defects, reproductive problems, allergic symptoms, asthma, and tests have shown that uh, even not even the air fresheners, if you, people use these pesticides like doom, and they, it's going to stay for many days in your house. So you can want to kill one fly or kill small insects, but you're killing and harming your body. Then these sports drinks is another thing. So one liter of a sports drink cause, co contains 11 teaspoons of sugar or high fructose corn syrup which causes weight gain, obesity. Uh, so abstain, then taurine, then uh, high in caffeine, and the harms are endless. Then cooking sprays. So we put these sprays in the food, but it contains soap scum, which is used for removing uh, harmful products or sprays. So applying this spray, if you use it on your, on your chain, which is on a bike, it will uh, it'll, it'll remove, it will help that, uh, the rust, it will remove the rust. Likewise, you can spray it on your windshield, it will repel bugs. This is which we are consuming. It contains mono dye, glycerides, uh, lactin, silicon, artificial flavors, which are harmful. So, cooking sprays, let us be cautious. Then painkillers, uh, pain relievers. So they contain many of them. Opiates, which 
is found or it's equivalent to heroin and this has increased anybody bought a problem take a painkiller so they say that overdoses is causing 42,000 people in 2016 their death and 40 of those deaths were from prescriptions of opiates so the after effects the side effects constipation hormone imbalance depression then Tylenol causes nausea rash liver damage kidney problems and they even say that people that are uh, younger than 20 years old should not even take aspirin because it's been connected to Ray syndrome which is a disease of the brain and causes vomiting confusion seizures so rather use alternate medicine than plastic containers so plastic containers are very hazardous besides the environment to ourselves as well try to abstain from them when they are heated bpa or phthalates these kind of carcinogens like benzene toluene xylene they contaminate the food and they leak toxic chemicals especially when you are microwaving it or if you leave it in the car where the heat it gets hot then chemicals tend to leach out then synthetic dyes so in food calorie nowadays there are approximately just in the US 15 million pounds per year of food dyes are consumed which are very harmful especially to children as well and causing cancer allergic reaction hyperactivity in children we've got uh, food colorings red number 24018 and studies have shown that these dyes cause dna damage then ftc yellow 5 tartrazin azobenzene which is used in jams juices cosmetics sodas sweets so children we just give them a sweet give them a sweet no no find healthy alternatives give them kajur dates vegetables fruits nuts so these cause allergic reactions then high fruct fructose corn syrup from the 70s it was introduced in foods and uh, has increased obesity so find other alternatives use honey then uh, low fat fat free food so low fat they're showing you low fat but be careful of that then uh, we eat healthy food but salad dressings so many of the salad dressings have unhealthy ingredients sugar vegetable oils trans fats artificial chemicals then fruit juices most of the fruit juices which are consumed they just have a concentrate a small percentage five six seven percent of fruit and that's just the sugar of it Others, it has more sugar, more additives, more preservatives. So if ever we have to consume juice, make sure it's 100% pure. No sugar, no preservatives, no additives. And uh, rather just buy fresh fruit, which is organic, and make your own juice. So stick to the origin. As close as we come to the source, that is beneficial. Then whole wheat. Whole wheat is actually not whole wheat but they are grains that have been pulverized into fine flour and uh, this raises the sugar levels so be cautious also that's besides the GMO origins and then it is pulverized which is even worse then low carb junk foods so low carb diets as well uh, it has been promoted and manufacturers have gone into that but uh, be careful of that then again nectar which is a replacement of sugar that also sugar is about 50 percent fructose corn syrup is 5 55 percent but thus has 70 to 90 percent so this is worse than regular sugar so they give it other names but actually it is not healthy then process organic food so we will say it's organic and it's processed, but organic raw cane sugar is like 100% regular sugar. Then breakfast cereals. So most of these breakfast cereals say whole grain, low fat, but they got refined grains, artificial chemicals. So be careful of that as well. Then canned sugars, uh, canned, fru canned foods, 
canned dried fruits, the all canned things. So that's not an healthy alternative because they contain sodium, they contain other preservatives, uh, increased blood pressure, risk heart attack. And uh, according to American Heart Association, 90% of American children consume so much so sodium that it leads to organ damage. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the reality to eat nutritious, healthy, wholesome, beneficial food and give us the strength and energy to make the ibadat and fulfill the commands of Allah how it should be done. Wa akhiru da'wana and alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.